Welcome back to Blackjack Chaos's Gaming Walkthroughs. In this video, I'll be going over the Beggar's Tale and which outcome is best. You'll want to start this mission in Bromworth in front of the main city fountain. You'll have to follow the beggar who is not as quiet as he appears to be. You'll want to wait until it is nighttime so that you can follow him to his home. So go ahead and wait at the rest bench next to where you talk to Captain Brandt. Once he starts to leave from the fountain, you'll want to follow him to his home. He'll be walking incredibly slow, and he won't really care that you're actually following him. Once you get to his home, you'll have to wait for him to change and then leave his home. There's going to be about 4 minutes of actual total time waiting, so once he leaves, you'll go into his house and grab the beggar's guard. Now at this point, you'll have two options that lead to two different outcomes. The first one is that you'll provide the guard to his wife who is at the Walter's Tavern. She'll be super distraught and want to go confront the beggar. The next morning when you return back at the beggar's house, the guard will tell you that both of them are dead, and that'll complete the mission. You'll get $3,000 in gold and a flower. And I cannot imagine Selene doing such a hideous clothes. Selene was turned away from the noble's estate shortly before the Indians. But how could that possibly have led to all so gruesome as this? The second ending, which is probably the better ending, is where you confront the beggar with the clothes at the Baldwin's estate, and he'll give you $5,000 in gold, and he'll remain alive as well as his wife. Let us know which ending you chose for the beggar, and we'll see you in the next video. I never expected it could end like this.